It's rivalry week in HBCU hoops, so tie your sneakers up real tight, throw some Vaseline on your face, cause we in Durham, North Carolina for the Aggie Eagle Round Ball Classic. That mean pack of dogs from the 336 was looking to stay unbeaten in MEAC conference play, but the birds in the trap were here to remind them that the road to glory comes through the Eagle's Nest, and the crowd at McDougal McLennan Arena was about that life. The sororities was out here stepping, the student section had some smoke for some OG Aggies in the upper bowl. And it was hype enough to have G-Ho legend Darren Big Baby Brand make a road trip. But before I show you these highlights, you already know we about to get into these pregame dunks. Now somebody must have heard me crown a MEAC dunk champ because everybody came with some fire in this one. Windmills. off the glass and a and t's tyrone lions even hit me with the east bay between the legs don't sleep on the me because these boys got more bunnies than hugh Hef. this crowd wasn't phasing the aggies early in the first half a and t jumps out to a 7-0 lead behind an aaron edme three and this nelson Lueke skyhook the eagles wouldn't stay down long as jabri blunt gets this tough drive to the rack to fall then he follows it up with the Jordan Perkins assisted jam that ties it up at eight and gets the Eagle crowd back into the mix. Rayshon Davis gets a big block on Cameron Langley, but Langley was on his bone crusher. He ain't never scared to take it to the rack. This time he makes moves towards the bucket and gets the deuce. Randy Miller Jr. hits back to back threes. Six of his game high 21 and the first half continued to go back and forth. A&T's Ronald Jackson powers through some good D for the slam and an Aggie lead. Then he follows it up with a big time block on Rashawn Davis. Big day for Jackson as he led A&T with 16 points. But you know Big Sean was going to get his face back. He gets another block of his own. Jordan Perkins finds Larry McKnight on the outlet for the two hand flush that turns up the crowd and gives NCCU the lead. Amari Hamilton with the sweep bucket and the foul that gives the lead back to a &T. Then Jordan Perkins finds Jabri Blunt for a nice dunk that ties it back up at 26 apiece with three minutes till the break. I told y'all this first half was back and forth, but the Aggies didn't give it up for the rest of the half. Ronald Jackson hits a big three en route to a 31-26 Aggie lead at the half. And that lead got bigger in the second. Cam Langley with a nice drop off to Nelson Nueke for the deuce. Then Cam gets it done for himself with the lay-in. a and goes up by 10, but here come the Eagles chipping away at the lead. Randy Miller Jr. looking like where's the foul as he banks in the tough layup. Next, he pulls up from beyond the yard. Splashes it in for three. Then Jordan Perkins and Rashawn Davis on the show and go alley oop. The Eagles cut their deficit down to four. Then down to two after Rashawn Davis gets the board and the bucket off the free throw. The Eagles nest was buzzing. They were ready to get this dub over a &T, but the Aggies remained poised down the stretch, hit their free throws when they mattered most, and sent this rowdy Eagle crowd home with a 51-48 loss that keeps a &T on top of the MEAC and gives them even more bragging rights in their heated rivalry over NCCU.